Hello everyone. Today we have uh, Madheshwaran with us. He is one of our test series enrolled student and uh, a topper of 2022. And uh, he is here to share his learning journey throughout the gate preparations. So hi Madheshwaran, welcome. Hi ma'am. It's great to have you here with us. Please share uh, something about yourself regarding your education background. A brief yeah, introduction. Thanks for having. Thanks for having me, ma'am. I'm Not Madheshwaran. Pleasure. Uh, I'm Adeshwaran. I studied a B.Tech from a government college uh, in computer science, and uh, I have started my gate preparation uh, just uh, just after final year only. Okay. So. So this is the first time you are appearing for the gate exam. No, no, this is my second attempt. Okay, so 2021 was in parallel with your job. Yeah, yeah, ma'am. After my graduation year was 2020. After 2020, I was doing I was doing a job for around eight months. After that, I I resigned my job and and focused totally on gate preparation. This okay. is then this this year is my full time gate preparation. Okay, so this is your drop year basically. Yeah, yeah. So what was your strategy for 2022? Uh, I started my preparation around uh, April middle or something, April middle at that time. And uh, my strategy is just complete the uh, just complete a, first of all, complete a subject, then go with uh, uh, subject based test and topic based test, then complete the uh, PYQs, whatever the PYQs that has been asked so far. Uh, then, then go for the next subject. So I will complete a subject thoroughly, then go for the next subject. I, I follow strategies like that. So by when you have completed your syllabus? Uh, I was planning to complete it by October, but I couldn't. Uh, it took a lot of time and I completed the round by November 2nd week. November 2nd. Okay, November 2nd so you... week, I have, okay. uh, I have completed an uh, entire syllabus and uh, solving PYQs and uh, subject -wise. Okay, so uh, subject by test, which are included in the uh, test series or uh, which are in the uh, course only? Uh, no, ma'am. I have taken a multiple test series, and I have taken uh, subject based tests not only from this, and I have taken from many test series, ma'am. Okay. So, so this time you have prepared by yourself, or you have taken some other course? I have taken coaching, and I have also prepared by myself. I have not relied on a single source, ma'am. I have I have okay. been uh, looking at the standard textbooks and uh, YouTube videos and many uh, other videos also. Okay, okay. That actually this is good to consider a lot many resources to get the idea, yeah. better idea of everything. Yeah. Yes, because what not one coaching institute cannot provide everything. Yeah. Just yeah. even even a single even if you go to a standard textbook, it will take a lot of time. Mm -hmm. I I watched some of the uh, videos from uh, MIT Open Course. So th this will be helpful for me. Yeah. So like uh, for 2022, you started with the subject which you have not covered in 2021 or uh, you started with- Yeah, yeah. Yes, ma'am. I, I could not able to complete uh, all the subjects in the last year preparation. I left around three subjects, I, uh, if I remember properly. So I started with those subjects, uh, COA, CN and several and other one subject. I started with this subject, then I completed, uh, then I uh, gone to subject that I have, I am not, uh, I'm not good at it. Okay. Then, uh, then I uh, got to subject that I'm good at. So, like on an average, how many hours do you invest on a daily basis in your preparation? I I was consistently giving around uh, six hours minimum, and uh, six hours. Or some days it might jump up to eight hours, but uh, not more than eight hours per day. So, so including I practice was, uh, of questions, right? Yeah, yeah, ma'am. Including practice of questions at the total time I studied was minimum six hours. There was very very few occurrences that I wasn't able to give six hours per day, uh, like or like one or certain days like that. But maximum it was like around seven to eight hours normally. Um, up to how many years of PYQs you have considered for your preparation? Uh, I had considered from the nineties. Uh, I have. Uh, uh yeah i have even from i that is gate overflow that's that's one of the very good good site for pyqs so i refer to that so uh like didn't you feel any kind of uh, pressure after leaving job and preparing full time for the yeah, yeah, uh, MTech, yeah. sorry gate yeah. so how do you manage that pressure 
yeah uh, sometimes sometimes it will be really pressure and uh, what i do is i just take my head out of this gate preparation for about one or two hour and maybe go out uh, maybe go out for uh, any snacks or uh, call my friends uh, that's it the, then after that uh, most of the time i'm being optimistic man if i'm being if i'm facing the pressure of drop i just uh, convince myself or say myself that i can make it mm. so after after giving my break after giving a break, uh, taking my head out of that game for one hour uh, that optimistic, optimistic version of me comes out and say that you can get okay so uh, like what was your strategy for uh, uh, revision for analyzing your mistakes and filling up the conceptual gaps like uh, how do you manage okay. all those things uh for conceptual mas- for conceptual mistake and silly mistake what i did was for every test i have written i have a, made a spreadsheet and uh, for whatever the for i have uh, categorized the marks that i have lost if, if the test is for 150 marks uh, for whatever the marks that i have lost i have categorized this uh, as silly mistakes and conceptual mistakes if it uh, for most of the time i lost my marks in silly mistakes it kind of boosted my confidence like okay i have prepared well but only thing is i have lost silly lost in silly mistakes but in the end that that silly mistake thing is uh, giving me more pressure also because uh, in the end i feel i felt like okay i have prepared but i am still making silly mistakes yeah yeah it, so, it is kind of it, it is a kind of a double edged sword double edged sword <laughs> so it, it gave me confidence once and it gave me it it doesn't give me confidence then did you planned your revision from november uh, uh actually after completing the gate syllabus once i was not i, I didn't know what to do uh, i i didn't know what strategy to follow then i asked my friend what to do and he suggested me go with uh, pyqs once again mm-hmm. and it was really good decision to do it. uh for solving pyq once again pyq got a wide range of problems and i solved the pyqs once again just revised the subjects once again and uh, solved the pyq once again uh, then i the same approach then after completing one subject i gone with the terra subject test okay after so, few, after few a few subject i made a, i made a full length test okay so in for every full length test you you used to do a complete revision or you have like how many number of iterations did you had before the gate exam uh i have uh, had around uh, i have taken around uh, eight full length tests ma'am okay. uh, eight only eight but uh, and plus a uh, plus uh, three previous year questions i have not studied uh, three previous year questions just for the sake i wanted to take full length test and that and those questions to to check my understanding with the real gate questions so including that i have taken totally 11 uh, full length test for every full length test i have gone through the subject once again uh, okay. i have made a short notes for uh, uh, in the uh, around january for uh, uh, subjects that i am not good at i feel like uh, it will take a long time to revision for example cn or uh, uh, coa or oas for those subjects it will take a long time to revise those subjects so i made short notes for those subjects after revising the short notes i am i'll go on for the full test okay okay actually this is a nice idea uh, to follow yeah how was your learning experience with gate, gate applied rules yeah I mean, the questions the questions from gate applied course is really good i uh, those questions are uh, unlike i have any uh, i haven't seen those kind of questions in other in other test series uh, some of the questions are even i felt like it is even tougher than gate level some of the okay. questions some of the all india mock test all india mock or all india mock test questions sir so it just made me think uh, think in a different way some for some questions forced the students to think in a different way okay it was overall a nice experience okay uh, so when you look back through your journey like uh, you have been if we we'll see you have invested like 2 years for the gate preparation mm. overall yeah. so do you feel like and you should have changed something or should have followed something uh if i want to change anything i might uh, i might want to finish the subject earlier i might want to finish the syllabus earlier i have finished uh, by around november but if i can i could have finished by october first week because i was planning to uh, solve tfr questions also because uh, tfr questions are really good when when you consider the standard of the questions are really good but i couldn't uh, but i couldn't solve those questions 
so and in the end also the last week i i haven't got enough time for the revision so if i if i want to change something i might force myself to complete the syllabus a little bit earlier okay so uh, do you find anything like any tips and tricks you would like to share for the future aspirants who are like in the same situation as of yours doing a job and then maybe taking a drop or doing this uh, preparation in parallel like you did in 2021 so any tips they should follow uh tips uh i did what i what the mistake one one mistake i did was i haven't revised in the middle between subjects what i did was i completed the entire subject 10 subjects completely then i gone with a second iteration when i look back the first subject i prepared i completely forgot that oh, one thing is yeah one thing is they should they should also revise parallelly the subjects they have also completed for the first iteration uh, for the first iteration the, only the second iteration i got to complete grasp over the subjects the first iteration of revision must be like reading the complete subject once again right well yeah. it will be taking a lot of time for you yeah yeah it take it took for completing a syllabus once it took, it took more than uh, seven months for me and, uh, and during the period of seven, yeah during the period of seven months one should also revise the subjects that i have also covered so, so it first, will be helpful your first iteration of revision is in november or in december Uh, I completed uh, my subjects by November middle. Then I started revising it. Uh, then started revising and taking subject test and taking test series and solving PYQ again and making short notes. Everything parallelly, man. So, uh, do you have any suggestions for us? Uh, do you feel like uh, any kind of suggestions? Suggestions? Yeah. One thing is uh, the test series is really good. uh and uh, the questions also really good but if you if it is possible if it is possible can you make a video solutions also ma'am yeah it will be it will be helpful okay cool right yeah because i understand there are many questions but if it is possible uh, uh-huh. some even for not even if it is not for all the questions so for the tricky questions, questions at least yeah yeah okay so do you have any questions for us uh no ma'am i wanted to ask about the post gate guidance so so if the post gate guidance is also given or uh, any if we if any videos is upla- uploaded uh, like towards the post gate guidance so it will be helpful ma'am is there any okay. videos uh, will be uploaded on yeah we will be doing the video for that and it will be uploaded soon on the youtube channel so okay don't worry yeah okay ma'am okay thank you so much madheshwaran and uh, best wishes for your future wish you all the luck thank you thank you ma'am thank you so much and it's great to have you here thank you for your time thank you ma'am it was nice talking to you ma'am yeah same